Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Lincoln's Bushcraft. As today you can see, in the backyard again. But today I want to talk to you guys about something. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while, but just haven't got around to it. Uh, this is, and I know I'm going to say this wrong, the Husk Banana. Um, it's 15 inches overall, comes with a leather cover. Uh, it's got a six inch head, uh, three and a half inch cutting edge, it weighs two and a half pounds, it's got a curved hickory handle, and it was hand forged in Sweden, and it's got their emblem right there, but I've been using this thing now for about a month, and I love this thing. The curvature of this gives it almost like a, a pendulum motion. So it makes it really easy on swinging, which is nice. It's a fantastic camp axe. And this only cost me $38.99 on eBay. So under $40, it's pretty freaking remarkable. Now when it did come in, I don't want to bash it, but it did come in pretty beat up. And the handle was You can tell it was a $40 axe. I did a lot of work on the head, but I don't know what steel it was either. I looked online and I could not find what kind of steel they used for their heads. So that is a mystery. But yeah, an amazing camp axe. So, let's see what she can do. And also, I want to talk to you guys about which I thought was pretty cool. This is my Condor Pathfinder axe, and this is actually the wax canvas for Con or, uh, Pathfinder. I believe it's almost, I want to say it's a stakes for your tents, but this worked perfect to carry both my axes. So, yeah. I like that a lot. Don't hit the hose. see it's biting in there really nice flip that over I do like it does have where you can keep it or, out of breath <laughs> you can use two hands nice little lanyard keep it locked in Yeah, buddy. All right. All right. Another thing I was wanting to show, which I'm pretty disappointed in this, but I got a guilty pleasure, and I like to pick up axe heads from flea markets and rehandle them, finish them. This I was very upset with. I got it all the way down. To where I wanted it. This is a Collins official Boy Scout axe. Boy Scout Collins. And yeah, got this all the way down to where I want it. 
and this was a hammer uh, handle and cut it and what happened was the saw caught the end and then threw the axe into the back of my miter saw table saw whatever and as you can see it split it so even got this where I had my finger grooves in it I mean just got it almost exactly where I wanted it and then of course freaking split it so that was pretty heartening disheartening whatever but anyways back to the Husqvarna Husk, Husqvarna <laughs> yeah just butchering the name my lanyard back on this nice and snuggy In all honesty, I should be wearing safety goggles. I do have my glasses on, but when you are working with any tools, be extremely careful. Don't forget your blood bubble. Anything that can reach this tool in your circle needs to be moved. Any humans, animals, anything inside the blood bubble move it be as careful and safe as you possibly can i cannot express that enough Now I know why I don't do these reviews. Where's me out? And I know a lot of people can be online saying, well, why don't you use a saw? Two folding saws. Which everybody's see me use the Krana. I actually picked this up at the flea market the other day as well and I was pretty curious how it worked so Through. That's my bad little saw. I almost like to say it might actually be lighter. It's definitely not though. Okay. And of course, you hear obnoxious people in their cars blaring their stereo. Like that's what we all want to hear. Some of this wood up. Turn here should work nicely. That wood is dead. Let's see. Now I've fixed the 
head. The edge, this thing is freaking razor sharp, man. Love it. And it holds a retention, edge retention, really nicely. Pretty impressed with that. Like I said, I don't know what kind of steel it is. So if any of you guys know, please let me let me know. You know what? Let me cut this down. You guys just seen that? Bad form. Hold on. Yeah. Split some of this wood down. In fact, I'm gonna be even more cautious because Working with these tools, you can get extremely hurt. Like I'm sure most people seen on the episode of Alone, the girl was doing this, and all she was doing is just tapping that in. And when she did, it bounced and came over here and hit tended. And that was bad. I'm gonna try this Collins Boy Scout X. Oh, man, I kept that handle longer. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, since it broke anyways, I'm gonna redo that. The reason I'm actually doing it like this, you see that me pinch, I pinch it like this. Now what's causing that to do is keep this nice and sturdy, keep my axe from going all over the place, and also keep me from swinging my axe towards my body. So, nice and sturdy. Pinch it, and take it and just split it. Nice and easy. Okay. This right here actually works best for me. Keeps it nice and tight on the on the board. I see a lot of other people do it the same way. It seems to work best when you're trying to get curls out of your axe.
But you can still do it like this, and this makes you more comfortable. There's really no wrong way. You can see I don't have as much. Uh, I don't have as much control doing it like this. If I'm trying to do it from back here, there's almost no control. Get up closer. A little more here, the most control. You see, it makes fantastic feather sticks. Okay. So, oh, I lost my footing. <laughs> Final thoughts on. The husk banana. Husk banana? Husk, husk banana. No idea. <laughs> I love this axe. I mean, this thing, for like I said, $38 is an absolute steal. This is an amazing camp axe. And like I said, you get this, which I actually got this axe because of Dave from a uh, high carbon still love but yeah I seen his review on it and seen that it was 50 bucks and just and Gideon's tactical that's the other one but yeah after watching those two videos I was just like man I can't go wrong with this also what I did with this is you can't see I'm sweating like crazy but I did uh, peanut oil and actually all I did was take oil or peanuts um, and just rub the axe with it and it's like a nice lacquer but or sill or whatever you want to call it but anyways yeah just I'll put a But yeah, I will put a link at the bottom, and um, you guys go check them out. They're a great company. Like I said, I mean, this thing was only $38.99, so you can't go wrong. But if you guys like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Uh, down here, I believe. I won't say here. I'm not going to go back and forth this time. I'm just going to say here. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to get notifications, uh, just click the bell. But besides that, get out of the woods, enjoy life. Thanks for watching. God bless. Oh, I'm getting old.